Here we have the, um, whatever it's called. I'm going to get the name off of it, but I haven't had this in many years, and this is what scans the action figure. I thought this was pretty cool, because back in the day, there wasn't anything like this, and really today, there's nothing like this either that I know of. Well, everything's QR codes on the back of boxes now, and stuff like that, but... Alright, let's try turning this thing on and doing a basic... Oh, and by the way, it takes a 9-volt. That's the only thing that sucks. What kind of thing would, like this would take a 9-volt? All right, let's try it. I don't know how it works. I actually see if you hover. It looks like that red dot where you would hover it maybe over there. Only one. Wait, we must attack as one force. Yeah, there we go. You overestimate your skills. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Dude, doesn't sound anything like Qui Gon Jinn or Liam Neeson's voice. Obi-Wan, he will bring balance. Train him. Obi-Wan, wait, we must attack as one force. You overestimate your skills. Try once more. Obi-Wan, he will bring balance. Train him. Obi-Wan, wait, we must attack as one force. Yeah. <laughs> so. What was that? How you turn it off? No, I think it goes off by itself. I don't even remember. There's no directions that came with it, but that was pretty cool. So, um, it's not that much money to buy one online. If you have a ton of these action figures with these chips in them, for 10 bucks, you can get one of these and you can get all the sound effects out of them. This was also made. In 1998, a very long time ago, you can see it on here. It's not written on very well, and I can't really focus. But Hasbro, China, everything's made there. Okay. And so on. So I thought that was pretty cool. You want to just put the chip on there, and you're all set. All right. Well. That, I'm, people might disagree with me, but that's it. Bye-bye.